Clinton came out with a team of advisors, uh, General Mike Flynn, yep. you worked closely with, I assume, at GAA, yeah. and a couple of other people. And then he said in the interview with the New York Times, he said, well, I haven't, he hasn't met with them, he suggested, he has talked to them on the phone. No commentary on the group, all right, but that's a fairly small group of okay. folks, and, and the idea is that he's talked with them on the phone, he hasn't huddled up, he hasn't thought through positions. That was former CIA Director Michael Hayden, who joined us yesterday. And joining us now, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, who headed the Pentagon's Defense Intelligence Agency and is rumored to be a foreign policy advisor to Donald Trump. Let's confirm. Good to have you on the show. Hi, Mika. Joe. How Rumor, are true or false? Are you, are you advising Donald Trump? I advise a couple of the candidates. So that's kind of what, that's <laughs> what I do. On your knowledge, yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. advise a couple of the candidates that have asked me for uh, foreign policy, national security, right. and just issues about uh, things going on around the world. Is Trump one of them? Trump is one of them. I have, I've met with him yeah. and, uh, and provided him uh, answers to questions that he's asked. All right, we're going to ask you some questions now. Sure. Uh, ISIS, uh, how badly did we miss the rise of ISIS? Yeah, really badly. Um, and I think that uh, one of the things that we have to face up to is just how um, how difficult it is going to be to to do what I think the president has asked, frankly, the military and the nation to do, which is, I, I think, I would call the strategy kind of a minimalist strategy focused on Iraq and uh, Syria, and it's much much worse than that, and and we've seen this really start to unfold even from the planning that was done for the decisions to leave forces in Iraq in 20, you know, 2011. Right. And, and I think that we saw that, we, we made some assumptions about that, and, and in many cases those assumptions are playing out in spades. General, how, how, could we have, how could we have been so wrong going into Iraq in 2003 and been so wrong go, getting out of Iraq the way yeah. we did in 2011, and again, misjudging what would rise in that vacuum. Sure. So the decisions of the past that were, I mean, there's some incredibly uh, strategically wrong decisions that were made. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the decision to go into Iraq was a good idea. Obviously, it was not. And, and it, has, it has caused a, a whole bunch of things. But then, then once, we, once we essentially had a victory in Iraq, we did, we did not sustain that victory uh, going forward. So we have this problem that has been exacerbated by, frankly, by not sustaining the victory that we achieved in How did in we miss ISIS coming down? Yeah, we, I don't think that we, we missed it. I think it, what, we, what we didn't want to see was we didn't want to see that Al-Qaeda al in Iraq was going to morph into something actually worse, you know, Al-Qaeda 2.0, 4.0, 6.0, whatever you want to call it. Right. So this Islamic State that, uh, you know, that has declared this caliphate, the caliphate is not just in Raqqa or Mosul. It is. It exists, at least in the ideological mind of this enemy, in a lot more places than that. And and when we see this this thing playing out in uh, in Europe, when we see it playing out in Pakistan recently, when we see it playing out in parts of Africa, and frankly, right here in this in this country, that is where it exists. That's where that caliphate exists, and, and I don't it's think a lot of people real. understand that. Willie. Willie, Willie Geist is in New York and has a question. General yeah. Flynn, good to see you this morning. Uh, a question Hi, for you. You've, the Cruz campaign has confirmed that you've spoken to them from time to time as well. Given your conversations with both Senator Cruz and Mr. Trump, which one of those two gentlemen do you think would be a better commander-in-chief? <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I think uh, either of them would be, would be fine. Um, I, I really, my, my role and what I believe is that we have to take a really deep look at the way the world is unfolding, <coughs> the reality that we face. And I think we spend too much time beating, beating each other over the head about the, the poor decisions that have been made, frankly, over the last 16 years. So when we start to think about going forward, we have an incredible global uh, economic problem and, it re and, it's, and it's from a whole framework of things that we just haven't paid attention to. I mean, just look at the last 30, 45 minutes of what you focused on. I, I got it because the guy's a potential front runner and a, and a uh, presidential, you know, and potentially the president of the United States. But, I mean, we have incredible global problems that directly ref uh, relate to the national security of this country. And you know, I could spend an hour talking to you about yeah. it, but I, you know, I won't. Can we, can we talk about one of the one of the uh, policies that both Donald Trump and Ted Cruz are advocating? Mm -hmm. 
The ban on Muslims entering this country for an undefined period of time, how is that strategically, morally, constitutionally yeah. smart? Yeah. So I, again, I you know, be very specific. And what I what I would ask all of you to do is be very specific about exact words that were chosen by anybody that's talking about uh, okay. immigrants, because immigration is a national security issue. So I think part of what we have to do is we do have to recognize that from select from select countries that. Uh, that some of these people are coming from. I mean, so what do we know? We know that the Islamic State has decided and has the intention to infiltrate the immigrants that they are pouring into Europe right. and that the potential that, that some of that will come into this country. So, so we know that. So, you know, we know for a fact that they have said we are going to infiltrate into these immigration populations. So knowing that, what we have to be really, really precise about is the individuals that are coming from select areas of the world, we have to be much better at how we vet them in order to bring the, you know, the right kinds of people in. I mean, yep. you know, I'm a product of immigration. We all are, I mean, at some point. So be really precise because I think that that, that does a disservice to the media. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's go back to Willie Geis who has a follow-up. Yeah, Willie? General, sorry, I just want to come back to my, my original question because I think it's important. You're, you're one of the few people who's talked to both of these guys and you're respected uh, in your field. Thank is you. one or two views of the world, either Ted Cruz's or Donald Trump's, more impressive to you and the policy prescriptions they have to approach them? Which is more impressive? Yeah, I, I think that um, I think that both have uh, a very broad global view. I, I would sit here, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I agree with everything that they say and, and, and you know, where I'm at with, with, uh, with, the, with what we're trying to do is my my role, and frankly, for the, my entire life, certainly for my entire adult life, it's been about uh, what's best for this country. And so when we go forward and we start to look at people who are looking for what I believe is, is good advice, I think I provide good advice. I provide certainly candid, uh, my best, honest, uh, uh, expert judgment on certain things. Now, you know, I appreciate the fact that they, uh, that they uh, have asked. And, 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 and has either had... one of them impressed you more than the other? <laughs> I'm sorry? Has either of the candidates impressed you more than the other on foreign policy? I mean, I think that they're both worthy uh, individuals who would make great presidents, e either or, at this stage. I mean, I, I think that the people of this country have to decide. I, I do believe that uh, this particular presidential election, you know, and I, I've done a little bit of, you know, history on other presidents, but I, I think that this particular one, the people of this country are looking for leadership. In a, in a really complex, crazy All right. world. So, All right, General Michael Flynn, thank you so much for being with us. We greatly appreciate Thanks. it. We'll be right back. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.